Hi again, this is uh, James. Today I want to show you how to create some symbol line types in ARCHICAD. So I'm using ARCHICAD 23. And okay, so let's start. I'm going to get the line tool. So creating a, a symbol can use a line arc or the hotspot. So I'm just going to use the line tool. And I'm going to just do a very simple uh, triangle. So let's start with just a basic triangle. So what I'm going to do is select these lines, copy them to my clipboard, so using copy. Then we go to options, element attributes, lines. And then go new, symbol, and then I'm going to call this uh, triangles. and click OK and then here we can say paste so anything that I've copied uh, lines arc and hotspots can be pasted into this preview so I can see the preview uh, automatically chose a larger size so I'll scale this down so that we have a dash which is the size of the actual pasted uh, elements and the gap between the next one here we can say scale with plan or scale independently. So do we want this to be model size or paper size? And then click OK. To use that on an element, I'm going to choose the polyline tool and just uh, move around and I'm going to draw a polyline. and just curve it a little bit and then I'm going to use that type that we that we just created so here we have the 0 1 triangles that we just created so now you can see that this is pasted on this line so this can be used for any uh, any place where line types can be used so even within a profile a composite or any construction element but here I'm just using polyline so you'll notice that uh, when this gets pasted, it's pasted it to the center of this. So this, the center of this symbol is lined up to this. Uh, so this is how it's uh, aligned with the uh, polyline. But if we want this to be uh, from the base, so actually this triangle should be sitting on top of the line, so not centered, there is a workaround to do this. So what I'm going to do is grab this triangle that I just created. I'm going to drag it. And I'm going to drag it to the uh, project origin here. So it can be anywhere along that project origin. So imagine that project origin along that X axis is going to be where the line that this is applied to. So now if I copy these three lines, so I copy with the origin uh, within the bounding box then the origin will actually determine where this sits and is applied to elements. So we go to Options, Element Attributes, Lines, and I'm going to go to my existing triangles and paste over this, and then set the dimensions back. And click OK. So now if I go to this Applied Line Style, you can now see that the uh, it sits on top of the of the polyline. So this is just a, a handy hint. Okay, so this is just a line, but we can do something a little bit more interesting. So I'm just going to move this to the side, and I'm just going to do a straight line from here, and I'm going to use a symbol instead. Uh, to do that, I'm actually going to use the 3D text tool to be able to get a symbol that I can use for this new lines, uh, this new symbol type. So I go into my object tool, uh, look for 3D text, uh, and here I want this rotated not uh, vertically, but I want it flat. And I also want to show this in the 2D view, so it's projected. Now I can see the text in, in 2D. So I don't want text, I want something like a character, for example. 
So what I'm going to do is open up on Mac font book. And here I can check maybe some symbols from some of the different fonts. Uh, for example, uh, like the Zaf Dingbats. And maybe I want this scissors uh, symbol. So I'm just going to select it, copy, and then go back to my uh, 3D text. And in the text here, I'm going to paste. And I'm just going to change the font type just to make sure it's using the same font. Okay, so now we can see this preview of this uh, character. So then OK, and then place this object. So this is still an object, so we want to explode this. So I'm going to use the explode command, so explode, which is under the edit reshape explode. I don't want to keep the original and click OK. I'm just uh, so now I'm selecting the whole thing, but I there's a fill here which I want to delete. So I'm just going to suspend groups, select that fill, delete. And then I'm just going to place this. So it's going to be centered along that line that I just drew. Okay, so it's something like this. So now we're going to select all of this copy this to the clipboard and go back to my lines new symbol and I'm going to call this scissors so you could imagine using anything uh, for this uh, drawing anything for this so we go OK here and paste so it's still going to be a little bit large I'm going to scale this down to around half the size Okay, so let's work with this and then we can see if it's the right size. Hit OK. And then this line that I created earlier, I'm going to change this triangle one to the scissors. So now you can see the scissors get uh, repeated. So I can see that there's a little bit of a gap here. So what we can do to fix this is in my preview I'm going to pick up this line just because I want to copy it and I'm just going to extend this line and so I'm determining the gap so when I copy and paste this so I'm going to select this copy go back to lines and find my scissors and I'm going to paste this new one but I'm going to say the gap is zero. So therefore it will be continuous. And OK. So now if we go down to here, we should see that this is smoother. So there's not this uh, gap anymore. So you can imagine using this uh, line, line type um, or this kind of technique for, for any number of things. So I could even write some text here, for example. Maybe make this just a different color. Yeah, so I hope you learned something. Uh, any questions, feel free to, to post in the comments below. Thank you.